All right, thank you very much for joining me again. This is uh, Gulpain back here with the High School Challenge. And this one is, this This must be one of the most recent games we've ever played, but this is um, Death Smiles. It's a, it's a shooter game, really good. Uh, it seems really arcadey, so I think it came out of the arcade, but it's also on, well, I don't know, I have no idea. Um, thanks to um, one of the guys on the, um, just get the name here because I've probably forgotten who it was. There we go. So basically what you do here is you just shoot. You can shoot to the left or you can shoot to the right. And you can also uh, throw bombs. So this is this game looks amazing and the presentation of it is awesome as well. Enemies are really funny, it's not just the usual um, things that come towards you in these sort of games. It's a great game. That's nice. Top game. Yeah, it was uh, Paul Grant who um, put the, um, thankfully put the, uh, just like basically a link to download a file and you open the file and it plays the game straight away. So if he didn't, thanks Paul, <laughs> if he didn't put the link up, I probably wouldn't be able to, to play this um, because I can, I got name working for a few games. Like I got it working for that, um, that one we played with the spider. Uh, I don't know what it's called now. That was called Black Widow. And then the other one that got working was. Um, what was it called again? Oh, um, Metamorphic Force. That was another one that got working on name. But I couldn't get a lot of the other ones working. Because I, I set up name, and then I remembered how to, how to work it. And I downloaded the game. I think it was Metamorphic Force. And then when I went back to it like a month later or something like that, I couldn't remember how I did it the first time. So I downloaded a ROM and then it just wouldn't work. So this is the first boss here. So it's really cool where you can shoot left and right. You don't do that in a lot of these kind of shooters, you just shoot to the right and that's it. But yeah, and he's using up all the bombs here. And I'm not sure if this was running a small bit slow because of my computer, but it seemed to work fine. Looks great as well. So you've got a little owl, there's two characters in this, two girl characters, and it might be my imagination, but the first, or the, this is the first one, but she only shoots like, um, quite small, um, I don't know, rays or something, but the second one, uh, her rays are really big, um, but she seems a lot slower, or maybe there's just a bit of slowdown or something, but I found it easier to avoid the, well, I just got fired with this guard here, the first guard. So this is cool, it's cool. <laughs> I think up these games. So this one is some sort of like Halloween stage or something like that. I don't know what the skulls are, I know you collect them. Um, and they're added, like at the bottom left hand corner there, they're adding to a total. But I'm not sure what the total is for. Also I don't know how you get the bombs either. Because the bombs just seem to, once I get to the boss, the bombs just seem to like refill. It's sort of like a, a, sh a shooter version of the Castlevania game. I can see how these games are very popular and very addictive. They're quite easy to play and you don't need to, you don't need like a big tutorial at the start. Even though I'd love to really give you the tutorial uh, telling you to push a button. And at the start, but yeah, you don't need a big old tutorial, it's just like, just to uh, fly to the right and fire. So she seems to have a little owl with her as well. It's pretty cool. Everyone explodes as well. Shoot the backgrounds and they explode. So the only thing you really have to do is just keep fire keep the fire button held down or the left or the right. And then you basically need to avoid those blue and purple sort of shots that they're putting towards it. And the controls are really good. It's actually quite easy um, to avoid them unless well as you see in the next in the next uh, stage here, uh, that there's so many it's impossible to avoid. So this one here, I don't know how, maybe it's the score or something, you get more bombs. Because more bombs just seem to appear. They just appeared there, so I'll just kill the bombs, kill this uh, grotesque zombie head. 
these guys are the, all of a sudden really cool bosses. Let's get all the skills and get to the next area. I'm sure there's some sort of story in this, but it's all in Japanese, so I can't read any of that. Well, it's not all in Japanese, it's all in English there. Some of it's in Japanese. I think in Japan, um, the cool thing is over there to like, uh, is to write in English, uh, to write your stuff in English. Like this stage is, 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 is where it gets very tough here. And I went down to my last bar of life, so we just had one life. One life to live, one life to be that's it. Now here's where it starts getting really difficult to avoid the uh, it looks like they hit me. Uh, avoid the um, the shots by the enemies. I must have just Yeah, that those two two things definitely went through me there. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid them. Maybe that's, I wasn't actually that good. I thought I was avoiding them really good, but I'm actually not avoiding them at all. They don't even hit me. Maybe there's only certain things that can hit you. No idea. Yeah, so it's getting really... yeah, look, they're just going straight through me. Oh no, wait, they are taking... Maybe they're hitting, they're just taking a little bit of life off me. Ah, that's probably the okay. There's multiple hits in the life bar. This, look at this, this is ridiculous. Like. <laughs> There's just stuff everywhere. Like. Oh, cool boss. That's an, it's an ant. Is that what you're coming out of your kind of so this is very, very difficult here to uh, avoid the things and then the bombs that you can through fast enough this time. Jesus Christ, look for shit everywhere, man. <laughs> but I was supposed to play that. Okay, so that's my score is 114-8428. 114-8478, sorry. Okay, thanks very much for choosing the game and I'll see you guys in the next Hexport Challenge. Adios.